Hi Taurus, welcome to your month ahead horoscope for twenty not for November 2019 with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. For those of you that already have and are continued subbies, you know I absolutely love you. Thank you for all of your support. It truly means the world. With that said, if you would like to book a personal reading with me, you can do so on the website address below. <clears throat> And there are still spaces left on the winter solstice alignment session. If you want to get prepared for 2020, and it's going to be a really interesting year. Remember, 2019 is a three year, right? So 2019 to 2019 uh, equates to the number three in numerology. The 21st of December, 21 and 12, that's 333. Three, three. That's a very, very rare window uh, of energy. It's going to be all about the astrology uh, of 2020 that's coming up. We're going to do an FLP session. Uh, there's going to be a whole ton of stuff that you really don't want to miss. And if you want to get your, sp your spot uh, and places are limited, you can do so on the, li uh, the link in the description box below. So with that said, I would like to bless all of my decks of cards with all forms of love, light, Peace, prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So let's have a look see what the month ahead has in store for you. So what is this? Um, <laughs> I know a lot of you are looking at it like Raph I don't know what is it it's terrible. <laughs> Drawing is not my strong suit but what it is what I actually saw um, was something that I wouldn't be able to draw. I saw somebody taking off a costume. Um, so, and that was the message this month. It was like, take off the mask, Taurus, right? And that's not to say that you're, you know, not being who you are or not being truthful or anything like that. What it's actually saying is you need to really approach everything now exactly as, as you are, right? There's no more hiding. There's no more dampening yourself down. There's no more dumbing yourself down. There's no more censoring yourself for other people. This month, you are going to learn, Taurus. Uh, and you have to, right? Because you've got Uranus in the sign of Taurus. Uranus is about authenticity. It's about being who you truly are. That's one of the reasons it rules Aquarius because it's about being unapologetically who you are, right? This is the month. The, the message was very, very clear. I saw someone taking off the costume and then they took off the mask. And this month, that's what you need to do. You need to be truthful about who you are, about what you think, about how you feel. This is a month to learn how to say no when you mean no, to say yes when you mean yes, to, do you know what I mean? Like none of it, all of that censorship, that sort of, oh, I can't do this because it will step on somebody's toes. All of that is thrown out this month. There's none of that anymore. This is a month for you to be 100% and authentically truthful to who you are. The mask is coming off. So let's have a look at your month ahead in your actions and interactions with the world at large is all right so you've got the knight of wands right so living in your passion you will be living your best life this month uh, which is beautiful because the knight of wands is about passion it is about vibrancy but it's also about daring to go where most people wouldn't it's about daring to do what you haven't done before it's about going further than you have before this month taurus you could find yourself out of your comfort zone and the beauty of this is where taurus usually likes to stay in its comfort zone you are a fixed sign you're fixed earth as well right so I mean damn like it doesn't get any more fixed than that and I can tell you because I am a fixed uh, air sign right my, my sun sign is Aquarius so I'm fixed air my uh, ascendant sign is, is Leo which is fixed fire I'm very very stubborn and I also like my comfort zone however as I've grown I've learned to really step out of that and this is this month for you November is going to be challenging but in a fun and dynamic way and the beauty of it is you're doing this consciously you're making these changes consciously it's like you're saying to yourself right okay well I know what I want to do I know where I want to be I'm stepping out of the comfort zone and because you're doing this consciously that is how you utilize the power and the energy of Uranus in Taurus right of Uranus in your own sign basically the, the way that that energy works is Either do what you haven't done before or it will be done for you, right? And this month you're saying, right, 
I'm a fucking tear it up and light the match and and light you know the the meme that says um, you know I was sick of waiting for the light at the end of the tunnel so I sparked up a match and lit that bitch up myself. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. I absolutely love it. This is a month where you're you're going off the beaten track, right? You're you're doing the whole thing of the Knight of Wands and saying, right, new pastures, new places to be. Let's do this, right? You're going. I kind of would say that the tagline for this video this month is going to be um, a Hobbit's tale, right? You know, you, see, you have no idea where you're going, what it's going to be, and it ends up being this huge crazy epic journey but you know you're so much more enriched for having taken it so this month even if there are twists and turns and surprises do the thing you haven't done before go to the place that you haven't been before because that is where you're going to find the magic and it's also where you're going to find the growth so your money and materials you've got the eight of cups if you've had a financial letdown this is the month where you can kind of really readdress that if you have had to dip into your savings in, in October, uh, if you've kind of had a bit of a, a tumultuous time of it financially, you could really write that this month. In fact, you might even look at things and say, actually, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. You could see where you've been making a bit of a mountain out of a molehill uh, and saying to yourself, actually, you know what? My finances are all right. Like money is good. I'm not actually in the dire straits that I thought I was. This could be you getting and really honest about that and the thing is I really like the eight of cups because it always suggests that you come to realize that you've made a mountain out of a molehill you come to realize that actually you know what yeah it sucked at the time but I'm all right I'm good and because this falls in your money and materials that's what it's saying to you this week like this week this month in the month of November you will realize that actually financially you're a lot more stable a lot more secure than than, um, than you thought you might have been and because you've got the um, Eight of Cups next to this uh, Knight of Wands, this is kind of you saying to yourself, I'm not going to be reckless, but I know that I need to make some adjustments here. And some of these are going to have to be some calculated risks. It's almost like you're taking the power out of situations, or rather you're taking the power back in situations where you felt like you might not have had any power. And that's a really powerful place to be. All right, so your communications with the world at large. What are you saying? Who are you talking to? And this month you get the Queen of Swords, right? So it could be that you have some difficult conversations this month. Remember, you're doing this now, right? You're, you're coming as you are, like the mask is coming off and you're saying it exactly how you see it. Which suggests, because you've got the Queen of Swords, right, in your communication, this month you could be saying some stuff to some people that they're like, damn like um okay where did that come from and it's not just going to be you launching attacks at people and all the rest of it it won't be that it will be more you really carefully thinking out exactly what you want to say so that it has the maximum impact and some of this stuff could really cut close to the bone you know she's got anathema after all um which really makes me think as well you could be saying so because you've got the eight of cups there as well right so it does suggest that there may be some power struggles this month after all after all we are in school well partially in scorpio season right we're in the the tail end of scorpio season in in november uh, scorpio is about power right and because you've got the queen of swords here in the communications you could find that this month you're saying right i'm going to take off the mask I'm, I'm letting people have it i'm not censoring myself anymore which is a brilliant place to be right and it really is important that you speak authentically and you speak out on the things that you see that you don't agree with or you don't like however you might need to be prepared for the fact that while you have a specific or a strong point of view or opinion, somebody else may have exactly the same thing. And you need to be prepared for the eventuality that you may not be right. Okay, I'm not saying that that is the case. Uh, you'll know when that, that is the case because, you know, it tends to be like, I'm, I, you know, I do it. Uh, there are moments where I have conversations with people and I'm like, oh, that really hurt. And the reason it hurt is because it's true. Do you know what I mean? Or maybe I've gone and said something and thought, you know, that's the way that it is. And then somebody corrects me and say, well, well actually, you know, this is my understanding of it. And then I'm like, ah, oh, OK. So you know what? And it's not about who backs down or who has the power. It's about really saying to yourself, you know what? Yes, this person's point is valid. And so therefore, 
I'm not in the right, you know? It, it's such a more powerful energy to be able to put your hand up and say, actually, you know what, I got that wrong, I'm sorry, right? When you do that, you take away the, the feelings of guilt and shame and fear, and you also uh, you also gain more respect from the other side because you have that ability to say, well, you know what, this time I got it wrong. Uh, this really is it's going to be a very interesting month for conversations with you. Like I said, be unadulterated, unabashed about who you are, about what you think. That is really, really important for you that you don't censor yourself. However, if you excuse me, if you come up against a contrary understanding and you think, oh, actually, you know what, I think I might have misjudged this, say so, right? Do you know what I mean? Don't don't feel a way about it because you'll gain so much more out of it. Lots of shifts in perspective this month, um, which is going to be, it's going to be a really <laughs> interesting and exciting month for you, whatever you do, I can tell you that. Personal relationships, you've got the three of cups. This is beautiful. For those of you that are single, you could be hearing from a blast from the past, you could be hearing from an ex, you could be hearing from an old partner, uh, you could be having, because you've got the Queen of Swords there, um, you could be having thoughts or feelings about an ex, uh, you could be having dreams about an ex, because it comes through the Three Cups as well, or the Three of Chalices, this could be, you know, and it happens, we, we've all been there, uh, you know, you could be even having sex dreams about the ex and then wake up and think, oh my God, like, no, it's never going to happen. Uh, and it might not. Sometimes it's just your psyche's way of processing something or working it through. But your mind, your thoughts, and possibly even your feelings could be looking over something like an old relationship, an old partner. Um, you know, that's whether you're single or whether you're partnered. If you're single, you could be hearing from an ex this month. If you're partnered this looks like you and your partner are getting really serious about each other like you know about enjoying yourselves more like because you know the queen of swords there is giving her element and she's saying like i'm gonna fight for this this is what i want and then the three of cups is about enjoyment so it's like as a partnership as a relationship you're both saying to each other right we want to enjoy our lives more we want to have more fun we want to get back to that time where we used to uh, you know, I, no, I can't say that. <laughs> well, we used to enjoy ourselves more. <laughs> um, you know, so you could definitely see that sort of energy. But there's lots of reinvigorated energy for uh, relationships this month, which I really like for you guys. It's lovely. So let's have a look, see at your weeks ahead. Your first week of the month. That feels good. Uh, you've got the tree of life, right? Creation. The hunches and the nudges that you get to go in these new directions this month is absolutely what you want to follow. Every time you find yourself doing something or something pops up and you think, oh gosh, no, I'd never usually do that or, oh, that feels a bit uncomfortable, say to yourself, a hobbit's tail, right? It might have moments of twist, shock and awe, but it's going to really, really enrich you. The universe is intervening on your behalf this month. Uh, so go with it, right? Wherever you find yourself like a tumbleweed, drawn to, taken to, or anything like that, just go because you'll get so much out of it. Your second week of the month, you've got the chariot card underneath the eight of caps. Uh, this for me, really readdressing the finances, but in a really good way. It's almost like whatever dip you've had previously, in the month of November, you will see the opposite. You'll see the growth. You might even get more than you've kind of dipped into. So for those of you, because I know every single, every Taurus I know, every Taurus I know has a secret stash pot of money somewhere, right? They may not have a savings account, but they've all got a secret stash. I know you guys. Um, and if you've had to dip into that for anything and you're thinking like, oh, you know, I feel a bit uneasy because I haven't got quite as much there. You, this month, you could really address that and you might even be able to top it up a little bit more. Finances look good this month, right? So you've got nothing to worry about this in that respect. Um, in terms of health as well, health looks good, health looks nice. You could be deciding this month as well that you wanna re-examine your, um, your eating habits or maybe working out more or something like that because you've got the chariot and then you've got the eight of cups. So it kind of suggests that you're, you're looking at something. For those of you that are feeling bloated, uh, the chances are you're probably retaining water. 
So maybe you need to look at that, all right? Again, I'm not a doctor, I can't give you medical advice, but I can tell you what the cards are telling me in terms of their associations. Your third week of the month, you have the Emperor right underneath the Queen of Swords. Now that is an interesting pairing, right? And when I see these two together, this kind of suggests to me this third week of the month, you could be having some tough conversations. Um, you could be addressing some difficult stuff. You may find that you're hearing some stuff that is quite challenging for you to take on board. Um, possibly because of cognitive dissonance, but more likely it's that you're, you know, you're saying to somebody like, you know, this, this and this, and then when they come back with a counter, you're kind of like, oh shit, okay, I hadn't even considered that. Do you know what I mean? But it's really important that you get off your chest what you have to say. It's really important that you take this mask of censorship and all the rest of it off. Um, it's not necessarily the cards that suggest it, but the feeling I'm getting as well, you could be hearing something this month that it kind of could be a bit of a secret. Do you know what I mean? Something that that's not necessarily common or public knowledge and you're like, oh shit, okay, I don't really know what to do with that. You don't have to do anything with it. Just know that, you know, the fact that you heard it means that it was meant for you in some way. Your fourth week of the month, you've got the Wheel of Fortune. Partnerships look brilliant. For those of you that are in relationships, this looks absolutely lovely. Um, lots of invites this month. I mean, we're gearing up to go into the holiday season, so that makes sense. Um, you know, the November looks like a packed month, going places, having people over. Um, you and your partner look really, really lovely together. For those of you that are single, lots of invites, lots of going to different places, lots of fun to be had. Um, and like I said, you know, for those of you that are single, you could be hearing from somebody in your past. And you know what? It's one of those times, one of those rare times where this isn't a person that broke your heart. It's not somebody that you ended up hating or ended up hating you. It's just somebody that it didn't work out with. And actually, you know what? That was good for that time. But reconnecting and rekindling with them at this moment in time, it's brilliant. It's fun. It's vibrant. It's enjoyable. And it's spontaneous as well. There's nothing planned or staged about it. And it's just like, oh, yeah, you know, we didn't work out. But actually, I still like this person. I still, you know, I still in some respect love them you know like this is a good month these the, the the past connections that are coming in especially for those of you that are single are good there's nothing about them that makes me think mm, okay right so your key to the month you got the king of wands you need to be i mean that echoes that so much um, I mean, yeah, the, you've got to be comfortable with being seen. This month you're stepping out from behind the curtain. This month you are being seen and, you know, exactly as who you are. But more importantly, you're presenting yourself in that way as well. And that's not to say that you don't usually. It's saying that you feel more comfortable and more confident in who you are. Uh, it's almost like you're dropping the mask of your insecurities. And that's giving you this brand new sense of confidence and assurance of self. And the King of Wands likes to be seen, right? He lets people know. Also, it's worth noting for those of you that have uh, an Aries in your life or know a person, excuse me, who is an Aries, possibly a Sagittarius because you've got the Knight of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune, um, which is Jupiter. But definitely an Aries will feature this month. So if you know an Aries, especially an Aries male, um, talk to them. Uh, you know, see what's going on with them because they might have some information or some knowledge with you um, that, you, you know, you might end up having a conversation with them that actually gives you a brilliant idea or, uh, you know, some sort of knowledge is imparted. But either way, it's going to be a great connection. So I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care. I'll see you soon.